There's people there, look. Wow. Wowzers. What an atmosphere. It's going to be absolutely heaving here when the rebellion comes because they actually host the, the rebellion. Crowd there. Eden too. The gentleman's club. We've got some, some lads going in there. Yep, there you go. Oh, we've got a tram. Watch out. Tram's having to ring the bell like mad. Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I am here in Blackpool. I am currently driving up the Talbot Road multi-storey parking lot. <laughs> Excuse my American accent, I can't help it. I just can't help it. It's a Friday night. It's been a nice day today. I'm going to take a little look through the town, but before I do that, I want to take you up to the roof of this uh, multi-storey and we'll see if we can see the... Uh, we're just about on sunset at the moment and I thought, let's have a look up on the roof, shall we? Up on the roof, here we go. This is it now. The top level of the Talbot Road. Oh, look, there's nobody here. <laughs> what a surprise. Well, apart from a few seagulls. Oh, look at the tower. There it is. Blackpool Tower. There you go. Look at that. What a view. Check it out. Anyway, let's have a little look around, shall we? We've got a nice sunset going on just over here. I want to show you that. Okay, check it out. I'm now on the roof here of the Talbot Road multi-storey. Look at the tower, doesn't it look awesome? It's just lighting up now, lit up there in red at the moment. And uh, I just want to show you around because the views up here are amazing. But of course, as with all multi-storey car parks here in Blackpool, we have these suicide barriers that go around the top. Uh, I remember years ago, we didn't used to have them and used to get amazing views from the top of here, from the top of Sainsbury's, just across the way over there. And also the top of the Wilco store. Used to go up there so many times as well to look at the view. But anyway, we'll take a little look and see what we can see. Listen to that piece there. That must be the aircon. Or is it? Is it like an extractor fan for the car? I think it must be an extractor, mustn't it? A bit like what they have on the tunnels, you know, the underground tunnels, like the Mersey Tunnel. They have extractor fans, don't they? Let's have a little look over here. We can see the top two floors of the the DWP building over there and as I look this way we do get a bit of an unobstructed view we can see over the barriers from up here look at that so if we look over here look look at this look we can see right over the barriers there you can see Sacred Heart Church there down there with the four like pinnacles on the roof we can see the North Pier you can see the Metropole, you can see that the tide's in. Look at that, wow, isn't it amazing? And as we look over this way to your far left, you can see the Imperial, the Grand Hotel, we can see the Norbrecht Castle just over there in the distance. Straight ahead there, we've got the Water Tower. What a view! Look at this, we can see the hills out there. The, right over to the Pennines. Amazing. Seagulls are making a bit of a racket. Anyway, I'm going to head down now to the ground floor and we'll take a look around the town on a Friday. Quite warm as well. I might look a little bit dirty in this video because I've got my work gear on. I've been doing proper work today, so I look a bit scruffy. Um, I hope they haven't got security cameras up here because um, it might look a bit suspicious, mightn't it? A guy walking around the top of a car park on his own, you know. Um, I know I've had... Uh, times in the past where I've been, you know the multi-storey car park that's behind the tower, the, the, the one for the shopping centre, the Hounds Hill. I've been kicked off there a few times when I'm taking pictures. I've gone down there with my tripod and my camera, I've set my tripod up on the roof of the car park to take pictures of Blackpool, things like that, the tower or whatever. And uh, security come out and they say, oh, you can't take pictures on here, you know. So, so I've been kicked off there a couple of times. I've been kicked off the North Pier as well. Yeah, as soon as you get a tripod out on the North Pier, that's it, you're off unless you've got permission. Anyway, let's head downstairs. 
I can hear a lot of shouting going on out there. We're looking down now on the... Look at that, look at that. Oh, let's see. Let's get in the lift and get down, shall we? This is the lady with the posh voice. George Clinton. Going down. Floor zero. Oh, that's facing the wrong way then. <laughs> How much is it? Uh, can we find out how much it is? Uh, oh, hang on a second. I'm trying to find out how much it is to park. It doesn't tell you. Anyway, it's around about £3.50 for... Um, a couple of hours it's not bad it's not bad in there if you want to park in there and it's secure as well that's mr bazraz i've come out at the back here mr bazraz has anyone been in mr bazraz lately do they have limits on the time limits on sitting there because i've heard that they brought in time limits at quite a lot of other uh, restaurants and things like that anyway we're now at the the bottom of this dwp building here which they're just finishing off the outside. I don't know when they're going to move in, but... Uh, later this year? Uh, I don't know. It looks like they've got some garden areas around the back here. There's some soil there. Are they going to have lawn there or something? Are we going to have a bit of green stuff in Blackpool? Town centre. We're going to have a bit of lawn along there. Yeah, what do you think? That's looking down the back of Topping Street. Got some murals on the wall here, which I've shown you before. Let's have a look at Topping Street, shall we? Because I've not been down here for a while. It's around about 20 to 10 now, so the sun will have gone down. We're just coming up to the Washington. It's massive pub that there, the Washington, you know. And it's got on the top there, on the corner. Can you see up there? It says 1875. Look at that. Isn't it amazing what you see when you look up? Not sure what the does that does that W mean Washington? Has it always been called the Washington? I don't know. Uh, doing a bit of road work, oh, digging the pavement up over here. That's a look towards Mark Kelly. So I might swing round that way on the way back. But I just want to try and take you on a slightly different route. Quite noisy people sat outside the Washington it's it's been a nice day today we've had about 25 degrees at last we've got the heat in Blackpool this is his famous Yorkshire fisheries often comes up at the top of many people's favorite fish and chip restaurant in Blackpool just over there we've got Dixieland chicken in this seagull here waiting oh, there you go hello prime position there that's a yellow leg seagull, that you know. It is. A yellow leg seagull. And I tell you what, <laughs> look at the mess it's made of that bin there. Hey, eh? look at that. They're using it as a toilet. Notice the yellow legs and the very dark grey wings. That, that's a yellow leg seagull, not a herring gull. See, you learn stuff on this channel. I know a little bit about birds, so you get to learn a bit on my channel. That's that San Marcos over the road, look. That used to be Mama's, and I tell you what, it looks pretty busy in there, you know. I would probably recommend that place because it had a lot of good reviews when it used to be, I believe, it used to be on Highfield Road, South Shore, and then it moved to Lytham Road. And then it closed, but now it looks like they've opened up again here on Topping Street. So check it out. It might be worth a, worth a look, that, folks. San Marcos, it was very, very popular. I remember when they were on high... Look at these planters here as well, look. I can't believe it. Blackpool Council. And they actually look in pretty good order as well. It looks like someone looks after them. 
that's the thing you see a lot of the concrete planters have spoken about them haven't they on the channel they have the concrete plant pots and some of them don't even have plants in or they have weeds in or some of them just have concrete in them so it's rocking here outside Churchill's is rocking over there we've got uh, so there's another one there look an old one Trell Falls it's got on the top there was that a brewery Trell Falls I think it was yo <laughs> and it's now Champ Sports Bar yeah quite a few people around just over here we've got a cash the cash this is supposed to be really good this you know and I think as far as I know I think the owner watches my channel and I think I think that uh, I think he wants me to go in there so I might go in there sometime what do you reckon but anyway it's looking pretty lively look at all these people here sat outside the, the champs and just over here we've got the townsman look at that banging in there we're just about to go past another chippy here on uh, topping stick this one's a tower fisheries cheapest in Blackpool look at this where is it cod chips and mushy peas 5.95 look at that there that is cheap check out the tower fisheries if you come into Blackpool they're here on topping street we're just coming towards Church Street now so we're having a look around Blackpool I'm mixing it up a little bit I'm taking you around starting in a different place just to make it a little bit more interesting because a lot of the times when I do these videos in town they always seem to do the same thing and I'm just trying to trying to just make it a little bit different for you we're coming down now into St John Square Who remembers when you could drive down there all the way to the promenade? A long time ago. We'll have a little look down here, shall we? The winter got. I'll tell you what, there's some loud music going on over there. Who's playing that music? Can you hear that? Wow, that's loud. Uh, anyway, let's have a look down here, shall we? We've got the darts still on of course the pdc wheel darts this is the new conference center for the winter car looks amazing doesn't it look at that just over here we've got a car park which i mentioned in a previous video this car park here they're going to build a hotel on it yep they're going to build a hotel on here another hotel in blackpool Now then, if you saw my last video, I came up this road on my bike and I drove past that truck there and I was heading this way and a sea cabs driver pulled out there and then he had a rant at me because he thought I was using a mobile phone while riding my bike and I was actually using a camera, which technically, you know, was a little bit naughty but I think it was a bit of a, well... I think he got out of the bed the wrong wrong side on that morning as we walked past this uh, professional darts uh, corporation truck here look at that there now the bdo who used to be the only professional darts organization they disbanded now or that name is no longer it is now is it the wdc or something I don't know, that's where all the people go in, the players go in there, the back entrance there to the Winter Garden. Just up here we've got a cracking view of the tower. Look at that view of the tower there, does it look amazing? Wow, look at that. That's a shot right there, folks, look at that. You could freeze that right now, look at that. That looks amazing, that's a good photograph right there. So as we walk down here, we can see all the, all the trucks 
about their life. I can see a guy in there doing directing or something. It's, <laughs> oh, oh. it's like the whole production unit is all here, all the directing, you know, the different camera angles. Bullseye, who's on the bullseye? Go to the bullseye. It's like a studio, outside of a studio. Yeah, these, these trucks here, can you see? Those things actually extend outside of the truck. Can you see that? They extend outside. Yeah, like those caravans that have the extensions on the side. I also went past this hotel last time as well, the Dukeries. And uh, it looks a real mess, but look at it now. It's all been cleaned up. Look at that there, look. Check it out. There was someone living in there and there was cans and, oh, God, it was a right mess. It absolutely stank as well. Yeah, but at least someone's been in there to clean it up. Yeah, but just look at all this. I also mentioned that, that uh, camper van there last time. I said, I wonder if one of the darts players is living in the camper van. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure. Someone said, no, nah, it's probably security. Yeah, you're probably right. Probably security living in there. <laughs> but there's some nice hotels down here, you know. Look at that one there, the Melville. There's one there called the Boomerang. Look at that there. We've got Adelaide House, because we're on Adelaide Street, of course. That looks like a nice hotel. The Garden Suites. Backpackers. That might be a basic one, that one. Oh, we're getting to the bright lights now, folks. Look at this, we're just outside the cinema now. The Backlot Cinema. Yeah. Look at this. It's quite fancy, isn't it? Got the Backlot Diner as well. There's like a car being towed away over here. I wonder if it's broken down or, or what, I don't know. Oh, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of people outside the uh, front of the Winter Gardens. Oh my goodness, there is a big crowd. Uh, has it kicked up yet? Yeah? Look at this, look at all these people. Wowzers. Maybe it's, I don't know, it seems quite late to be going in actually. I would have thought that the darts would have been probably finished by now, but I don't know. I think it's probably a break. I think they're just having a bit of a break, maybe. They come outside for a smoke. Look at all these people there, look. Wow. Wowzers. What an atmosphere. Guy there with a dot board over his head. All right. How about that? So I'm just going to back up to Church Street again, a bit further along. Still doing work on that building over there. Not sure what they're doing there. Got the Greggs there. Are they moving that Greggs to the door station? Just over here, we've got the nails. I think there was a raid on that place the other day, you know? Something to do with the illegal immigration, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, here's a look down Church Street. A look down here, shall we? The sky looks really nice. Look at that sky. Someone's got a tent set up over here. Looks like they'll be camping out there for the night. They haven't done anything with that building yet. They've cleared it all out. But as you can see, you might just be able to make out up there. It says Clifton Arms Hotel, Library and Stables, yeah? Another bit of history in Blackpool for you. That will be all covered up again soon. But it was revealed after that first nail bar 
which was right here, um, burnt, burnt to the ground, yeah. Grand Theatre's got scaffolding around there. Obviously doing a bit of work on it. This was designed by Frank Matcham. Matcham's masterpiece, he called it, I think. Around about the same time as when the tower was built as well. So there was quite a lot of competition at the time for theatres and cinemas. And uh, Grand Theatre, yeah, still with us today. And many other places like it have disappeared. Uh, or fallen into disrepair, unfortunately. I'll tell you what, let's head up this way, shall we? Corporation Street. This is where all the buses stop, of course. Look at that sky. It's amazing. Some absolutely shocking karaoke going on in Scruffy Murphy's. This is the Rose and Crown. It's going to be absolutely heaving here when the rebellion comes because they're all going to come here because they actually host the, the rebellion crowd there at the Rosen Crown coming down now to Market Street it's looking a bit more familiar now isn't it so how are we looking for a Friday night we're not looking too bad Got Brannigans. The weather spoons late and rakes. Yates of course. I've got to turn around and show you this view of the tower. Look at this. Come on, look at that. It'll make a nice thumbnail, that won't it? Uh, I'll head down here to the promenade. If I can get back to these people. Banging. Not this karaoke bar. Just getting warmed up, I think, tonight. It'll be a bit busier tomorrow night, I think, Saturday. Quite a few people beard up, of course. Actually, head past the obligatory shot of shenanigans and also Eden, too. The Gentleman's Club, we've got some, some lads going in there. Yep, there you go. That's shenanigans. It's always banging in shenanigans, isn't it? Yates's. And of course, don't forget Yates's is inside the former Feldman's Arcade Music Hall. Building, there you go, yeah. Always learning something about history on this channel. Don't forget to look up when you're in Blackpool. Look above the big names like Starbucks and Costa and, and the pubs because you don't know what you might see on the building. There's a lot of really old buildings with dates on and things like that and all sorts of interesting things. Oh, we're just opposite the North Pier now. I'm just going to head over here. I want to have a look out over the sea. Check out that old car there. Is that, is that a Maxi? My uncle had one of those back in the olden days. An Austin Maxi. 1750, I think it was. Uh, the engine. I'll tell you what, I can hear a bit of shouting going on down here at the Beer Monster Shelter. I just want to take a look at the view. But I don't think I want to go too close to that shelter there because there's a guy bawling his head off. So, I'll hang back from the beer monsters. Can you hear that? All right, well, let's have a look at this, folks. Come on, look at this. This is what I came for. Just look at that. Wouldn't you just love to be here? in Blackpool right now
if you can just not try not to listen to the beer monsters. Oh my goodness, it's, it's proper kicking off here, you know. Can you hear that? Anyway, here's a here's a bit of a wider look. Just look at that. Wow. It's a little bit too cloudy tonight. We can't see the Lake District, but uh, it looks pretty awesome, you have to say. Anyway, I'm going to head back into town now. We'll leave the beer monsters behind. Someone just walked past me drinking Carpaccio, you know that really, really strong lager? I think it's about 9% or something like that. <laughs> they all drink it round here, I'm telling you, yeah. I don't think they drink anything less than Carpaccio around here. Well, I thought I'd nip over to Queen Street. I can hear a lot of screaming. This is how it looks on the promenade, quite busy as usual. Struggle to get across sometimes. No illuminations tonight, but they were testing them last time. Last time I was out. Got the soul suite here of course. Look out for the old sign up there with the with the hand pointing towards North Station. Pretty lively around here. Look at this. It's actually looking pretty quiet. Walk about, look at that. Yeah. Let's head down here, shall we? Down this strand. It is pretty lively. In Blackpool tonight. I've just gone past two bars and sinless the other strip club. <laughs> Yo. Oh, nice one. Nice one. <laughs> Cheers. Nice one. Thanks very much, dear. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they walk on the wild side. At Pop World. Banging in there, by the way. Just coming back out now onto Calvert Square. Look at that view of the tower. This is H2O. Formerly the Royal Bank of Scotland. Again. You're learning about the history. Oh, we've got a trap. Watch out. <laughs> Trams having to ring the bell like mad. Yeah, if you're a tram driver, Driving up here on a Friday and Saturday night, you've definitely, yeah, you, you've got to have pretty high concentration. <laughs> so we're now back at Market Street, back at the other end. I won't, I won't go up that way, but I will show you that view of the tower. Just look at that. Come on, come on. Step in the hotel here. So near the hotel in Blackpool. Um, the Clifton comes from the name of the landowners, I believe, the Clifton family, who owned quite a lot of the land. Blackpool grew pretty much from here, from Talbot Square, and it grew outwards from here. They didn't build the town hall until... Oh, I don't know, I'd have to have a look at the blue plaque. Um, they had to have the, the town hall meetings at the, uh, I believe, the Metropole. Yeah, this was built 1900, 
So after the tower, yeah, six years after the tower was when they, they put up the, uh, the Blackpool Town Hall, as it is today. Yeah, six years after the tower, see? Didn't have a proper town hall. Just over there, we've got the trilogy. Yeah. I do like the sign on the trilogy, it looks quite smart, doesn't it? Next door, we've got the little black pub which is like a, no, it's an old Sunday school connected to the church next door which is the Sacred Heart which we can see from the top of the uh, top of the car park there Sacred Heart goes around back to about 1865 or something like that got a new takeaway here called Arnis, fairly new anyway I think it's uh, Opened earlier this year, I think. Burger Shack. Next door to that. This place here is called Connect Blackpool. I think it was a drop-in centre at one time. It says uh, Young People's Services. It's a grand old building. Just up here we've got uh, Big Cat Sports Bar. And El Dorado's. Pretty bright in there, actually. Not much going on in there. Quite a few people in uh, in big cats, though. Just over the road, we've got the station. I can hear a lot of music in there. Just down there, we've got the Galleon, Abingdon Street. It's looking quite lively tonight actually. We're just at the start of the holidays I think as well so I think over the next few weeks we'll notice quite a lot more people here in Blackpool. That's the Victoria. It's always pretty popular in there. Seems to be a very popular pub that. Someone's playing banging music from a car here. Yeah? So we're just heading up Talbot Road now. Just up here, we've got Mark Kelly's, of course. Yeah, I think it is pretty lively. That's Garland's. Mark Kelly's, of course. Banging in Mark Kelly. Pretty quiet outside this side though. We do have the obligatory person sat outside. Begging, as usual. We're now on to Dixon Road. I can hear one plane in there. That's looking down, or should I say, looking up Dixon Road. Towards the Pride Village. We've got funny girls up there, I won't go up there. I'll tell you what I will do. We'll head towards the tram stop, we'll head down the tunnel, check out the tunnel, check if it's still nice and clean, and then uh, we'll uh, see what it's like at North Station. Okay, so we're now here at the new tram stop in Blackpool, the North Station stop. Let me know what you think of this. Is it a good thing or is it a complete waste of money? Does it cock up the whole tram system? by getting the trams just to come up, what, a quarter of a mile up Talbot Road off the promenade, when all they were doing before was running up and down, up and down the promenade, and now every so often or every other tram has to come up here. Uh, so does that mess things up? Let me know in the comments what you think. Well, I will say one thing about this tunnel. It's nice, nice and bright, very, very well lit. This is what you want, isn't it? You don't want it to be dark and dingy. So what was here before was basically just a subway. Yeah, and it was. It, it uh, yeah, it was uh, frequented by beggars and beer monsters. And uh, hopefully this one will be, I mean, being lit up like this now, I mean, look at that now, that does look quite impressive, actually, when it's all lit up. 
as long as all the bulbs still work and you know when the bulbs go out they, they replace them but at the moment it's looking pretty good and we're now at North Station check it out So there you go, that was a walk around Blackpool on a Friday night, yeah. Um, pretty warm as well, I'm sweating my rear end off at the moment. Yeah, it's been a pretty warm day today. Let us know in the comments if you're coming to Blackpool over the, the holidays and let me know also if you've been on the tram to North Station, what you think of it. Is it a complete waste of money? Or was it worth all that? Oh, oh, how much was it? 20 odd million or something stupid like that. Um, anyway, there you go. I'm going to leave it there now, folks. Uh, that was a walk around town. I mixed it up a little bit, changed it a little bit, just to make it a bit more interesting. We learned a bit about the history, of course. I always like to try to, you know, bring you a bit of history, if I can, in these videos. So you do come away with something. And if you ever come to Blackpool, you can always check it out for yourself when you come in. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you like it, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one.